Welcome to the GPTV Carnegie Report for August. My name's Leo Samuel. And I'm Graeme Callan. Graeme, welcome back to the edition. Thank you. Good to have me. you here on the Carnegie Report. Viewers out there, hope you're staying warm. It's been a cold winter to date. It's great to have Graeme on the show. We've been busy selling real estate in postcode 3163 and loving it. And a lot to talk about in this month's segment as well. And uh, first of all, Graeme, great to have you on. How are you finding things? Fantastic, yeah. Love a few more listings because what we're finding is the market is been a bit tight, yeah. Selling. A bit tight for listings, but good for selling. That's right, Graeme. And you've had a good run over the last few months, which we'll cover off on a few sales as well. But good to have you here. Graeme, lots going on in Carnegie, our neck of the woods. Besides our office, we've seen a lot of traction, a lot of movement happening, and I'm talking up in the air. What's going on there? Well, we've got the <laughs> elevated uh, railway now happening, uh, as we call it, Sky Rail. And the beauty with that is now all the level crossings have disappeared between uh, Caulfield and Dandenong, and then more in particular, the ones that are in our local area, Poth Road, Murrumbina Road, Tourney Road happened. and Grange Road are all gone now, and they're in the finishing stages now. Over the next uh, month or so, we'll see all the repatriation work happening, and uh, the new look for Carnegie and Environs is now well and truly underway. Yeah, it's definitely made a difference with the traffic flow on Coonang Road as well, and you're one of those good abiding citizens that doesn't do U-turns on Coonang Road, Graeme, aren't you? But um, good to see that it's going through, because uh, last uh, few, well, a few, a few, well, about a month and a bit ago, I was at my office in um, Coonang Road, and I heard this noise and it was like I hadn't heard the trains for a while and up up and above there there was passing but I do definitely not miss those dinging um, re level crossing um, noises as well and Graeme um, you yourself on, on the side outside of your busy real estate life and family life but viewers you didn't re actually realize you didn't realize um, that Graeme is actually chairman of the or chairperson I should say of the uh, traders Carnegie's Traders Association and he's been very busy um, getting things in order along the strip there and doing great things and um, Graeme you want to tell us a bit of news on along Coonang Road in the strip what's going on there? Well indeed it's been a privilege to represent the traders of Carnegie uh, over 200 businesses we represent as an association and we've been working very closely with those businesses helping them boost their business and profile through social media and websites working closely with the level cross authority to get uh, promotional activity through them as well and help support them during the tough time it has been with the level crossing removal but during this time too we're seeing some exciting changes in Carnegie and I know people comment about maybe a little bit more diversity in restaurants and the beauty is we've now got uh, two new restaurants have opened up have been one being a Japanese and another one's a Chinese uh, chili shop on the horizon we have got a, uh, a European Mediterranean restaurant opening up shortly. So we're mixing it up a bit, Graham. We're and staying we've got away a Mexican from Mexican restaurant too. Yeah, well, in Murray is now Poco Loco, and uh, it's now a Mexican restaurant. So we're getting a bit of diversity in our uh, food culture, and it's certainly a place to uh, come to as a food mecca. Definitely right. And Graham, we better start talking about real estate, unless the viewers might think it might be like a show like Getaway in a moment. So let's talk about a few of our sales that because we've been busy over the last uh, few weeks. Let's cover off on the first one, which Ben Rothschild sold at six at twenty Emily Street in Carnegie. Graham, you know that block you've sold there in the past. Um, tell us about that outcome. Uh, well, that was a great result in uh, Emily Street, a little one-bedroom apartment needing uh, quite a bit of work done to it. Uh, sold prior to auction uh, for $295,000, so it was an excellent result. Well done on that yeah. job by Ben. That's right. And shortly after that, or that scheduled day, even though we sold Emily Street before auction, I had the auction honours for Glen Bricker to auction 37 McLaurin Road in Carnegie. Now, very interesting scenario happened here. We had a full house of buyers inside the house. We conducted it because it was a cold winter's day. Um, calling for bids, nothing happened, which was, you know, it is a bit quite common, more so these days. And um, we passed the property in and all these buyers kept hanging around. I had to go to my next auction, but you and Glenn um, and Ben were very busy because I what happened? We had an auction after the auction with three buyers. We had three buyers <laughs> wanting to buy the property. Why they didn't put the hand up during the auction, who knows. But we had three buyers we negotiated with and achieved a price in excess of what the vendor would have taken under the hammer. So, uh, And a big so point a of difference result. for us as an agency as well, our auction at Gary Peer, because we've got a large selling team, um, we were definitely not short staff there with Graeme um, involved with the guys from our corporate office being Ben Rothschild and Glenn Bricker. We ended up selling that property in, like, I, like you said, you know, like auction after the auction. But yeah, we had the time to put that deal together as well shortly after and the vendor was wrapped. But like, all the buyers, you could have all sh sh saved half an hour in time yep. and potentially uh, saved 
yourself from competition if you ended up being that highest bidder. But anyway, good outcome for the vendor and purchase, I'm sure they're very happy as well. The other result was six at 54 Moonia Road, Carnegie, which was a one bedroom single level villa unit that Aviv um, Samuel found a buyer and uh, sold that one before on behalf of his clients and that sold for 365 and they're quite popular. Very unique, those single level villa units, those one bedrooms. They're yeah. usually two bedrooms, aren't they, Graham? But it's yeah. not often a developer builds one bedroom villa units. Yeah. Then we'll cover off on that other one that we filmed last month's edition of Viv and I at that listing at 36 Augusta Street in Glen Huntley and what an amazing auction that was but a beautiful home oh, sold um, under the hammer there what we call a non-referral auction that we just had um, multiple bids coming left right and centre two bidders fought for that in the end ended up selling for one million five hundred and ten thousand for the most beautiful extended three bedroom one of a pair and I love Glen Huntley as well being a local resident living in the parallel street um, I was a big fan of that and yeah an amazing campaign with over a hundred groups Graham attending through that one as well. Phenomenal. So the other side we'll cover off on was apartment 3 at 328 to 330 in Neerham Road, Carnegie. A large two bedroom apartment with a courtyard. Um, Jack Slater um, managed that campaign and Graeme why don't you sort of brief the, 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 the viewers what happened there because it was quite a popular offering from the marketing wasn't it? Well we had good numbers through there. Jack was very busy through the open for inspections and he had a couple of buyers very keen to uh, stamp their name on it before auction. Uh, an offer was uh, tabled for the property which was acceptable. Jack went backwards and forwards with other interested buyers and getting a, a fantastic result for the vendors at $645,000 for a two bedroom apartment in the heart of Carnegie. So it was a great result and great work by Jack. That's right, Graham. And the other result we should cover off on was the girls from St Kilda office, uh, Limor, Herskovitz and Nikki Janova had the apartment at 102 at 1177 Glen Huntley Road, Glen Huntley, right near the Glen Huntley train station in the Glen Huntley Road strip there. A large um, offering there in terms of accommodation, great living space, two bedrooms, um, one bathroom, one car, a highly competitive auction. I hear I missed that auction, but mm. we're expecting between 420 to 460, Graham, and it sold a touch over five, uh, 501 and a half thousand to be exact but um, yeah that strip as well I believe in time you know you talk about the, the Coonang Road strip and even Murrumbina Road that Glen Huntley Road strip being Glen Huntley I reckon give that time I think it's a bit of a sleeping giant and uh, watch for things to come over the next few years don't know the exact timeline but we know how important strip shopping is for the community and I reckon that one will be the next one to go in postcode 3163. I'll just add to that that we are seeing a number of good shops opening up in that strip and I'll give a shout out to the guys at Burger Bliss on <laughs> Glen Huntley Road uh, Glen Huntley, just near the Commonwealth Bank. Excellent hamburgers. What type of hamburger do you like, Graham, off the record? Oh, I had the pulled pork one there recently. It was absolutely delicious. Very nice, Didn't Graham. do well the good for my waistline, but it was a beautiful hamburger. Making me hungry as we talk about it. Now, we've been a bit of a specialist selling blocks of flats over the last few years, or decade, I should, or de decades mm. over the time. Um, we, do have a many, we do manage a lot on our property management, um, on our rent roll blocks of flats, but whenever the blocks do come up for sale, we always seem to be the trusted agent because we've got a large pool of developers, investor clients, and uh, we're just obviously good marketers as well. Um, I'm talking about now 1 to 8 at 29 Mernda Avenue, Carnegie, where I was marketing this property alongside Philip Kingston, Todd Schulberg and Rafi Joffe. We had a highly competitive auction, Graham, for this uh, block of eight apartments, which ranged of uh, two, um, two bedrooms and six one bedrooms. We sold it to an investor um, client that bought that property in the end. We had four bidders going for it, um, highly competitive, and sold for $2,750,000. Congratulations to the buyer and seller there. The seller have had it for many years, but, you know, investing in blocks of flats what a great place to park some money um, and that was a good offering as well and one of the top sales of um, the uh, Carnegie region over the month of July across the board amongst all agencies the other sale Graham as well you know the one that uh, we filmed one of the previous editions which we auctioned a second time which was 8A Thomas Street Brighton East how great was that townhouse beautiful townhouse great workmanship uh, great space and some beautiful finishing touches like that uh vertical garden in the back, etc. Beautiful finishing touches there. And you did a great job with that, Leo, because you took it to auction a second time and got an excellent result there. Yes, yeah, so it sold for $1,780,000. And congratulations to Market Projects, the developer there. They built the most amazing town residences in the local area as well. Um, I watch out for these guys. They um, definitely put the stamp on quality in the area. But also congratulations to the buyer who has got the most amazing town residence with the most amazing features. And especially that vertical garden. As a buyer, you'll be so lucky to, oh, 
or you'd be the envy of all your friends mm. with that entertaining spaces as, out there as well. So uh, one bedroom apartments, we do sell a lot of those. One of those was at three at 32 Shepperson Avenue, Carnegie Graham, which was another cold winter's afternoon where you and I and Jack and Tanya and Aviv were out there busy on that Saturday afternoon. We had uh, a property there, we passed it in, ended up selling it for $302,000 to the highest bidder there as well and uh, believe they're gonna keep it for investment and why not? It's safe as houses they say as opposed to putting your money at a term deposit at two and a two two percent in this current market, great to invest in those one bedroom apartments. Yeah. The other one, Graham, one at sixteen Celia Street, Bentley East, where you T tell us about that outcome and another circumstance we're selling above above the asking price in the end. Well, that was a property we'd had to auction and uh, the person who bid on the day didn't increase their offer uh, till the following week. Uh, we signed up an offer from them but also had a couple of other parties interested in the property by that stage. We had an asking price of uh, in the 990s and sold just under a million dollars a week after auction and the vendors absolutely wrapped with the result. So just might want to add to that so the viewers get a bit of an understanding. So look, when a property passes in auction day, it's not the end of the world. A lot of the times, it just didn't get the traction on the day to obviously get mm. some movement in order for the vendor to accept. But in this instance as well, um, after it passed in, we pr priced the property very sharp yeah. and we back to, back to work we go and it was on the radar. We catered for a new buyer um, demographic as well or buyers within a certain price range and Graham, you did a great job there getting multiple offers on contracts and obviously played them off each other and ended up selling it exceeding the actual asking price to get 999000 So well done on that Graham. Okay. The other sale, I call it the Wizard of Oz house which is 10 Dorothy Avenue because it looks like the house that uh, Wizard of Oz in that old black and white imagery in the 1930s <laughs> that flew in the sky and it was that unhabitable home which was sold as land at 10 Dorothy Avenue which we passed it in an auction and we sold it a week and a half later for the asking price of $1,189,000 and I believe uh, developer is going to put a couple of uh, residences on there um, in due course. We'll cover off on new listings. I think we've covered off on a sales. Why don't we sort of go into the new listings? Mm. But before so as well, Graeme, um, we talk about you know how many weeks left in the year for selling. We just came out of a sales meeting and Philip ramped on about today about there's only really 10 weeks to go for this yeah. year. And if you think about it, well, here we are in August at the moment with footy season at the end of September. And thanks to Dan Andrews, we've got one long weekend at the end of September for, yeah. for footy. Great. Even though you're a St Kilda fan and I'm an Essendon fan, and I'm sorry you about last Robert Friday's uh, nice game nice there, Graeme, but I don't think you're expecting finals either, and I, no. um, unless we go for the Mighty Tigers. But um, at this point in time, Graeme, we're still busy taking auction bookings for September and October and November and December as well and not to forget next year as well. But um, changing from the footy grain as well, how's the weather been? It's been so cold. Been cold but hasn't stopped the buyers coming out. Yeah, definitely right, Graeme. And I can tell you what, the market definitely favour a bit more to the buyers. It's definitely come off the boil a bit, but buyers, if you are out there to looking to buy, what a great opportunity arrives for you now because one thing I can say, you'll never pick the bottom of the market, but if you do see value, go for it because definitely it's not a sprint race, it's more of a marathon and property should always be a long-term investment in my opinion, um, speaking from experience and just look, buying in top-notch suburbs like Carnegie, Murrumbina, Glen Huntley, Ormond, Bentley and surrounds, I think long-term you can't go wrong and if you need to discuss any sort of property um, types and uh, opportunities out there, we'd love to guide you and suggest some offerings for your um, for your portfolio or um, living opportunities. We've got some great opportunities coming up here shortly actually, haven't we? We do, Graeme. So whilst you've got the list there, Graeme, why don't we cover off for the first auction that's happening for us, in um, for the viewers to see in this uh, month's edition. And we'll start with our first one, Graeme, at uh, 5 at 70 Truganini Road, Carnegie, and you've been involved with the selling with this one alongside Aviv and Jack and Tanya. Why don't you talk a bit about that one? Well, that'd have to be one of the best finished, best styled uh, two bedroom townhouses I've seen for many years. It's been extremely well built, beautiful double glazing and great fittings and fixtures throughout and goes to auction this coming weekend, this Saturday at 10 a.m. Nice and split level residence there. It's been very perceived very well by the buying public and I think it should go well. We've sold in the complex um, this year as well and we had an auction with uh, multiple bidders above reserve last time as well and we're expecting that one to go well as well. Next one, Graham. Um, you know Neville Street quite well and I'm not talking about Neville Bartos from Underbelly <laughs> or from uh, uh, Chopper Reed. I'm talking about 2 at 12 Neville Street in Carnegie. Graham, tell us a bit more about that one. Well, Neville Street itself, very few properties come up on the market in Neville Street. It's very tightly held. It's a great family street and this is a beautiful opportunity to get into a family size 
single level unit or town residence. Uh, it's got four bedrooms, two bathrooms and uh, off street parking for two vehicles. And that's going to auction this weekend at 11.30 on Saturday. And that's a great opportunity for somebody to get into an affordable family home in the area. Neville Street, a great street near Lions Reserve and the old Ca and the Carnegie Pools as well. Um, get, your, get yourself down to that one if you're looking for some great accommodation as Graeme just covered off on. The other one that Leon Cousin Fitter is uh, representing the vendors. Uh, is the one on 1 at 62 Lillimer Road in Ormond. An amazing position there, right next to the newly refurbished Ormond train station that's just had the facelift as well as Kilvington, um, um, the school there as well, and Egan Reserve where the Ormond Blues play their footy there as well. Lovely opportunity, Graham. Dual occupancy there, two on the block. Should go well, this one. Tell us a bit more about this opportunity. Well, location, location, location is what they say. And uh, Lillimer Road, Ormond, you can't get any better than that for being close to shops, transport and facilities and it's a very keenly priced uh, well house on uh, a subdivided, subdivided block. block yeah. And uh, it's priced to sell. Yeah and you yeah, look at opportunities, the median house price in Ormond being in excess of a million dollars, mm. here's your opportunity for a buyer that wants something on a subdivided block, low maintenance, um, great period charm throughout and a modern fit out as well. So Graeme, let's talk about House of the Week, where we are now, where you've been representing the most loveliest vendors here, here at 3 Boak Street, Carnegie. Take us away on this one, Graeme, because every, I, this is the first time I've actually been in this home as well, and I've loved what I've seen so far, and I look forward to bringing this one to the, to the auction market, and I believe we've been a few weeks, or two weeks into the campaign, and we've got some really good interest so far, and what a lovely surrounds, and uh, yeah, Graeme, tell us a bit more about this one. Three Boke Street, you're in a, a prized pocket of Carnegie. Very few properties come up in the market in these local streets. So it's very tightly held. And the reason for that is because it's got fantastic aspect. You've got the, some of the best parkland, not just in Glen Ira, but in Melbourne, literally at your doorstep with Packwood Park through to uh, Duncan McKinnon Reserve and Mullenbull Park joining them together. The house itself, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, off-street parking for four vehicles in secure areas. Uh, the block's about 642 square metres and it's exquisitely built home. Very well built in the late 1980s and the owners have been meticulous in the maintenance of it. So I can definitely vouch for home. that and the light here is just amazing with the northern aspect as well, full of gla grass, full of greenery as well. And uh, viewers out there, if you don't know, it's for the Boak Street pocket off Lilla Road near the old Murrumbina Secondary where I believe Graham's brother was uh, very much involved with the old Murrumbina Secondary School for many years. Big bro, he was a <laughs> teacher there many years ago, very early on in his career. And it's a shame we don't have that school anymore but... Uh, there's more happening in the school front with the uh, second campus and McKinnon Secondary College going to be built not too far from here in the not too distant future. So close to all the action, nestled near uh, Murrumbina Road and Coonang Road and Lilla Road, as well as Packer Park around the corner. Looking forward to bringing this one to the market with you, Graham. The next offering is 6 at 13 Manchester Grove in Glen Huntley. Uh, made a career selling townhouses in Glen Huntley next to the Crawford Heath development and this subdivision of six has been um, a great offering for the buying public looking for a townhouse, something a bit better than an apartment. Can't can't afford those freestanding period homes, check this townhouse, three bedrooms, two bathrooms and two cars, looking between nine to 990. It's going well as well at the moment and uh, look forward to auctioning this one in a few weeks time. Next offering, Graham, seven at 121 Murrumbina Road. Road, back in Murrumbina. This is Jack's busy there at the moment. Uh, it's an excellent two bedroom apartment with a huge courtyard. Uh, so it's got two bedrooms, two bathrooms, off-street parking for one vehicle and a courtyard that is absolutely enormous and that's very hard to get so it's a rare opportunity not to be missed. Seven at 121 Murrumbina Road goes to auction in the very first weekend in September. And you've sold a few in that complex, Graham, and they've always gone very, very well. Yes. Buyers, the other addition, um, the other listing I should say that we have is in uh, Lillema Road. We've got a great two bedroom apartment, perfect for a first home or investment is the one at 20 at 30 Lillema Road in Ormond. Um, a great opportunity to get into the market, that affordability, price point of view, 390 to 425 is where we're expecting interest. I'm expecting a good turnout based on the inqu initial inquiries that we had. Bringing that one to the market first time this week should go well as indeed. Uh, the other offering as well, um, Graham is 113 at 92 yeah. Mimosa Road, Carnegie. Tell us a bit about this one. Well, one of these rare opportunities to buy a quality three bedroom apartment with two bathrooms and off street parking for two vehicles. Very close to the heart of a vibrant Carnegie with shops, transport, etc. at your doorstep. It's a brand new apartment. 
uh, finished, very well built. I uh, understand it was built by Stella. And no, it was a different oh. developer. It was Lucent was the de is the developer there, I'm Graham sorry. and the William Building, but that's okay. Stella is a good. They did a few next doors, yeah. but we'll give them a bit of uh, moving, a bit of a rooming free space, a bit of free flop as they do a bit in the area, but this one was the Lucent development. But um, look, in relation to the offering here, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, it's a good opportunity for a buyer to buy something brand new. Our client bought this off the plan, had initial plans to move in, but things have changed. Um, 97 square metres, three bedrooms, two bathrooms, um, expect interest between 780 to 850 definitely get down to check this one out as well it's I forgot to mention as well it's got two car parks and the most amazing north facing terrace as well so Graham that is the listings we've been busy selling we've got a few things coming up a um, few other things sort of coming up for spring but I can tell you what the market look it's it's not all doom and gloom as the papers yeah. must say but I can tell you what if you're looking to sort of sell discuss real estate options with us we're more than happy anytime to discuss real estate with us at our office at 42 Coonang Road in Carnegie. But before we sign off, Graham, anything else you want to add? Carnegie is a place to be. I've lived in Carnegie now for uh, over 21 years, been working in real estate for nearly 20 years. How long have you been in real estate, Leo? I've been 19 years. First oh. of May 99 I started, and I was 19. I'm 38 now, if people didn't realise how old I am. You were just a baby so, when you started. Yeah, and we always, we, in previous companies, we worked together many years ago with the franchise group, but uh, we're very proud to say that we're loving working in Carnegie, Gary Purin Associates, our network, very strong, and um, looking forward to assisting all our clients over the coming months in the years to come but um, also people don't realize as well our office we've had a, over the few months we've just rebranded in terms of our logos but the new lighting up next to our station strategically done near the sky rail by the way yeah. and it looks great and it cost us a fortune too thanks to Philip Kingston but uh, we're very happy with that investment so once again thanks viewers for watching this month's edition I'm Leo Samuel and I'm Graham Callan thanks for coming in today Graham and viewers we look forward to seeing you next month thanks for watching thank you